Ew, why do it look like a booty hole? Y'all, I'm actually nervous. <laughs> I'm actually nervous for this video because I told myself, I told my curious ass that I was not gonna do this again. But y'all just hyping this video up in the comments. If y'all know what video I'm talking about, I'm talking about my what my makeup looked like under a microscope. So I bought this little microscope and I did a video of me zooming in on what certain things look like. I was inspired to do it by Tina Young here on YouTube and the video had just been going crazy. Like I got some positive feedback and I got some negative feedback. So I'ma just speak on all of them. So a lot of my negative feedback was like, it's not really negative because that's not my problem that they chose to watch it but it was more people like with triphobia seeing like close-up holes and all that stuff it like triggered them so I don't even know if half of them got through the video because I was like zooming in on the most random things and then like the star of the show was my the brush that I used to lay my edges down or whatever so everybody was like oh I have gotta see it again and like people are crazy like they really wanted to see that brush again and I was like oh it's thrown away somewhere or whatever but the thing is, when I made that video, in the video, as you can see, I threw it on the floor. I had left it sitting there on the floor for a while because I had stopped recording videos for a while. I had stopped recording for like one or two months. I had mentioned that in my last video. And then like a few weeks later, I had came back in here and throw it in the trash when I cleaned up my little filming room. So I had it in a trash bag that I have in my filming room. Not even a trash bag, it's a trash can that I put in my filming area. Well, my filming area slash laundry room area. So I'm like over here digging, looking everywhere for that toothbrush. I was like, they really on me about this toothbrush. Like I'm not on the Zoom back in on it, but I'm kind of curious. Like it freaked me out so bad that I didn't even want to see it no more. Like I didn't even want to find out what was in it. And then I'm like digging for the toothbrush. I found the toothbrush and I got it right here. And I also have a couple more toothbrushes because the thing is I do my edges so much that I like buy multiple toothbrushes here and there. I got like one brush that was designated for my edges. I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the different brushes I use to do my hair. These are <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> these are some of the different brushes that I use to do my hair and, and this ain't even all of them I can't even find all of them so this is an actual brush that's made for edges I didn't show you this one zoomed up this is another brush that looks like that toothbrush because I had like two or three of these I just end up buying them all for my edges this is the disgusting one that you saw on the video this is one that I found like at the bottom of my the box that I keep all my hair supplies in and somehow like oil leaked out like my hair oil leaked out onto it and then these are the brushes that I like brush my hair into a ponytail with but I don't know I've been kind of like terrified ever since that whole brush situation so I use my I've been using my other gray brush that is like not as it's kind of new and I've been using my brown brush but I don't I think I left that one in the bathroom but I've been using my brown basic brush to brush my hair it's kind of like one of those manly, manly looking brushes so I've been using that to brush my hair because every time I brush my hair now I just be like can I really I just think about these like worms and aliens and stuff crawling out of my toothbrush because I don't know what the heck that was that I seen on my toothbrush so I'm gonna be playing around and zooming in on these toothbrushes. I'm gonna zoom in again on this sponge. Sorry for the people who got trophobia or however you say it, but a lot of people was commenting saying like, oh, she was moving the camera around. Like I didn't really get a good old plus and personal look. I had a couple people say that. So now that I've used the camera once before, maybe I can give you guys a better view because I didn't know what I was doing when I when I bought this thing like I literally like had to figure it out on my own it took me like an hour and a half to figure out how to make it work on my laptop and all that I didn't know what I was doing and I was like so shocked like looking down on my computer screen at what I was doing because I have to look at my screen to see what I'm recording that I just 
I was just moving away. And when I went back and watched the videos, I completely see what you guys are saying. And then I had this one comment where somebody was like, oh my God, like she say ill way too much. Or oh, actually it wasn't even one, it was more than one. Like she's doing too much. She's saying ill to everything. Well, how about you go and buy a microscope and zoom in and see what everything looked like up close and personal. It's kind of gross. Even if you know it's dirty or whatever, it's disgusting. Like it's so weird to see these things up close. Like you never, like you never, would ever see these things with your naked eyes so I was just more of like shocked so the only word I could think of is ill so ill 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 if you're people who left ill kind of comments like that and I need you guys to understand something else about videos you're not obligated to watch my videos like that's not me that's what I need negative people to understand you're not obligated to watch no youtubers videos anyway so people who actually did enjoy that video and who actually want to see what I'm going to put on this video. I also got this stuff right here. So this is the bottle that I use to my hair gel. But the bottle is like dirty kind of. So I want to see what that looks like. I also have my face thing that I use to massage my face. It's like I was literally digging for stuff for y'all. Because somehow y'all was super entertained. And then I also was going to do one of the charcoal peel off masks. So I had made this char homemade charcoal pull off mask. And I tested it on my hand. And then it just reminded me of how painful those masks were on my face so i'm like i'm not putting that mask on my face but i did put a little sample piece on my hand and i guess i'll zoom in onto the piece that i put on my hand so y'all can see what that looked like under a microscope but here it go here it go right here is it the piece that i took out but let's just get into this video i'm gonna slide over to one side of the screen so i can be able to show you guys what i'm looking at so let me just uh get this all set up Okay, guys, so the recording has started. Oh, Lord. Oh, I need a prayer. Okay, I can do this. Um, We're going to start out with something. We're going to start out with something basic. We're going to start out with, I have a clean, my new uh, edge brush. So we're going to attempt to look at what this one looked like under the microscope. Maybe it looked regular. Well, I know it looked regular. Okay, so this is what a regular clean, I mean, it's a little bit crusty, crusty on there, but it ain't for me. This is what a regular, not used yet brush looks like. This is a toothbrush, by the way, y'all. I I, most of the time I use toothbrushes to do my edges, but this is what a brand new, I forgot you guys told me to try to be more steel. So I'm going to give you a couple little, this is what a brand new one look like, y'all. Brand new. Real personal. You know, it got a little crusty on a little orange thing, but that's what a brand new one look like. Okay. Next item. We're going to look at this face cleanser face. I forgot what it's called. Okay, nothing. It got a little, wait. I mean, it got a little dots and specks here and there. But it don't look crazy. Dang, this just reminded me of how much fun I had last time. Like, I had fun and it was gross, but look at it, this piece of hair on there. I had fun last time, but it was like the ending that had me like, dun, dun, dun. So I knew I had to be to continue. Somebody told me, oh, let me see your earwax on there. Uh-uh, I'm not that bold. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I guess you got to stay until the end to find out. I don't think I'm bold enough to stick it in my ear. <laughs> maybe I should, but then, no, I can't. But that's what this looks like. It just got little black specks here and there. It could be like a little rinsed off or something. Okay, let's see what one of my daughter's old toothbrushes look like. This toothbrush is so kitty now. She's like seven. I don't know how we managed to keep. I don't know how we managed to keep any of her old stuff. Because it's been like chilling in the drawer. Y'all see that? That white stuff is like the toothpaste residue. It look, mm, it look like starch. Okay. Let's move it around a little bit. Let's get in the middle. Ugh. Oh, no, those are just the holes that it's made for. Nothing too crazy. Okay, nothing was crazy with this one. 
I'm nervous. Like, why am I nervous to pick up the actual, the toothbrush from the last video? Like, I'm really th throwing this thing away. This, like, after this, I'm not even throwing it away in the trash can in my beauty room. I'm throwing it away, like, outside or something. I'm not burning it. I'm not about to sit there and burn it. But this is, like, the little thing that I use for my eyebrow. Mm. Look at that piece of hair. You can see the little specks. I put concealer on my eyebrow brush. Now, obviously, I expected this to be dirty, but come on now. You can't tell me that that's not like a still like something you're going to say ill to. Like, like, look at that. Look, look at this. This is the tip of my eyebrow pencil. It looks like a shit turd. Ew. What is that yellow stuff on there? <laughs> Why am I talking like that? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do this sponge again. Triphobia people. You might want to skip this part, but I'm zooming in on the dirty up uh, makeup sponge again because people wanted me to slow down a little bit and stop moving so much. So this is real technique dirty makeup sponge. Y'all see that? It's probably people on here that's like skin is crawling, but they're going to keep watching it because that's what human do. Look at that hair all up in there. And it's crazy because, like I was saying, I can't see the hair with my eyes. Okay. I'm going to go around to the dirty part. This part got like a little powder on it. Look at that. Just look at it. Uh-huh. Oh. 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 Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this shit. Y'all gonna suffer with me. Like, lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it. Just lick it. Oh, it's crazy. This is, this is crazy. Okay. Now we're gonna look at when my focus get together. Okay, now we're gonna look at the outside of this Gorilla Snot bottle. Maybe I should let you guys see what Gorilla Snot look like. Hmm, maybe, maybe I'll do that. This is what the outside of my Gorilla Snot bottle look like. Look at this shit. Look at all these pieces of damn hair. Stick, look at all of this. This is like stickiness and everything from just throwing it in and out of my box. Look at them. I'm gonna show y'all what ew. ew. So this is what Gorilla Snot looked like. You don't know what Gorilla Snot is? It's the stuff that I use on my edges. Now for all of the brushes. And I'm gonna just go in order by the ones that I think look from least it's the most terrible. That's that's the order I'm going to go with. So this one is one that's like been at the bottom of my thing that I was talking about. And it got oil on it. So I'm not going to, I didn't put it in my hair. <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. like scared like something's just gonna jump out at me and I'm trying to get as close as possible that is like product and oils
Oh, this is probably what ear what our ears look like. You know what? I'm gonna just be like forget it and do my ears. I'm gonna just be like forget it and do my ears at this point. Cause I mean, okay, this is the other one. This is an actual edge brush. Still as possible. It's so hard. Do y'all see this shit? I'm gonna show y'all a side view. Okay, the side view is not too crazy. Let's like kind of try to open it up and spread it apart. It's like so sticky. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. Now I'm going to do the regular big hair brush, the big hair brush. Okay. It looks like a, I think it's a rubber band stuck in here, but I can see that with my eyes. Look at it. Look, just look, just look at this shit here. Just look at this. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna take a pause on that one and we're gonna look out. I forgot all about this little blackhead piece of black thing. But it ain't even no blackhead thing because I took it off my hand. But I still wanna see what the charcoal thing look like. That's crazy because those lines are from my actual hand. These lines on here are from my actual hands. It's so hard to be still. Okay, there it goes. This is what the charcoal thing looked like that came from my hand. Let's do my face. This is my face without makeup. Still look a mess, but. You still see my skin. Look at that bump. What is that? What look at all the look at that oil oiliness. Look, just look. Just look. Just take a moment to look at this shit here. I'm trying to get it a clear view. Oh I can't believe. Let's see. It's just crazy, like, look, look up under my eye. Do y'all see that bump? Do y'all see this? Do y'all see that black? Do y'all see that shit right there? Like, look like more hair trying to grow out of my shit and black kids and shit. Look at that. Look. I'm gonna keep saying look like they ain't already looking. Look at this forehead, honey. Look at all this oiliness in my cracks. And I mean, I guess it makes sense because I had just moisturized my face, but damn. Damn! And now for the season finale. No, not the season finale because after I thought look at this I'll decide if I want to show the inside of my ear. How about that? For the season finale, the animal of the show, I present to you what name we gonna call it? What should we name this toothbrush, guys? Comment down below. We're going we're gonna to give it a name so we can say rest in peace to it after this video. I just can't, like, the rest of them do. This is like some freaky shit, yo. 
This is like some super freaky shit. People were saying like it could be like fungus and stuff crawling in there. So I was freaked out. I want to see if I'm going to see something move. Look, like, what the fuck? I literally want to throw up, but I feel myself needing to sneeze. <sighs> My eyes can water a shit. That, I don't know. That's just some weird ass shit. That's just some weird ass shit. Woo! Lord, I feel like I need to throw up. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, can I show you guys my ears? I don't want to. My ears be dirty as shit. And let me tell y'all a story real quick. I used to always clean my ears out, and I clean them out here and there now and then. But one time I was like all into it, like real deep about cleaning my ears. And I like went, I was going in on my ears. I ended up with an ear infection that was so terrible. Like that was the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. Like not in my life, but still like that ear infection was terrible. It was painful. I'm going to show y'all what y'all came here for. Well, at least weird asses that's in my comments. Talk about, let me see. You should do the inside of the ear. So I'm gonna do it inside of the ear. Oh God. I'm so fucking nervous. I'm so fucking nervous. Hold on. at this point what do I do with my life? you know it look like a booty hole why did the inside of my ear look like a booty hole it look like a wax booty hole I'm 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 not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm turning this shit off You guys, that was pretty much the end of this video. I'm so sorry if I had y'all like grossed out, but <laughs> you obviously was interested that you stay until the end with your little nose itself. Okay. So I don't wanna be on I don't want y'all to be on here talking about y'all trigger and all that. You decided to keep watching it because I mean I was triggered, but my heart ended ass gonna keep going. That, that's just what I do and that's just what this microscope is gonna make you do and by the way for people asking where I got the microscope from I got it from Amazon I, I put the link in the description box where I get it from that is pretty much it for this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel your girl had a goal of 10k by the end of this year that was at the beginning of this year but now my new goal since I already passed that by the end of this year is 20k subscribers so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already give this video a thumbs up if you like it i mean give the thumbs down if you can't stand it um unfortunately whatever but um i will see you guys in my next video and i appreciate you guys for watching and supporting peace out <laughs>
you made it this far to the video, you made it to the end of the video, hello, I have a surprise for you guys. So, basically, I'm going to do a quick giveaway. Um, I don't know what I'm giving away yet. I'll, maybe I'll pick what I want to give away when I pick the winner. So, basically, in order to enter this giveaway, it's super simple. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram name in my description box. Follow me on Instagram. And then when you follow me on Instagram, message me, um, what we gonna do? We gonna message heart emojis. So just do like some heart emojis, some red heart emojis or something like that. Do not comment the heart emojis in the comment section because I don't want people who didn't make it to the end of the video to be able to see what's going on. So comment heart emojis in my, um... In my Instagram and I'm gonna pick a winner from there and then I'm gonna message them to see what's what type of stuff they like and then I'll do the giveaway and I'll get them a gift based on that so yeah you made it to the end of the video hey it's a giveaway don't tell nobody it's our secret don't come in the comment section don't forget now for real this time peace